the day this is miss tabisu today i am here to talk about homophones so let's get started let's see what are homophones words which are spelt differently but sound similar are called homophones examples allowed permitted to do something allowed not silently let's see one more example desert d e s e r t it is a dry empty barren area whereas desert d e s e r t it is a sweet dish served at the end of a meal as you can see that the words are spelt differently but their sounds are same homophones are basically made up of two words homo and phone homo means same whereas phone means sound those homophones are words with same sounds now let's see some more examples of homophones s e a is c and s w -E, e is c let's see the example sentence with these two words at my beach house i love to wake up and see the sea here s w -E, e c means to look at things whereas s e a c means a large water body s o n sun s u n sun my son is 2 years old he likes to spend time outside in the sun here s o n sun means a male of spring or a boy in relation to both or either of his parents whereas sun is a star at the center of the solar system k n i g h t night n i g h t night let's see the example sentence the knight is on his way to the castle but traveling at night is very dangerous here k n i g h t night means a man who served his sovereign or lord as a mounted soldier in armor especially in middle ages whereas n i g h t night means the period from sunset to sunrise in each 24 hours f l o u r flower oblique f l o w e r flower let's see the example sentence to bake a flower shaped cake you will need some flour here f l o w e r is the seed bearing part of a plant specially surrounded by brightly colored petals whereas f l o u r is a powder made by grinding raw grains nuts or seeds used to make different foods c e n t scent s c e n t scent example sentence i own spend 1 cent on a bottle of perfume until i know that i love the scent here c e n t cent is a monetary unit of many national currencies cent is derived from a latin word centum meaning 100 whereas s c e n t cent means a pleasant smell or fragrance now let's do an exercise fill in the blanks using the correct homophones number 1 the tailor will have to dash the dress 
Is it A L T E R or A L T A R? Alter. A L T E R means to make a change in a comparatively small but significant way, whereas A L T A R means a flat topped block used as the focus for a religious ritual especially for making sacrifices or offerings to a deity second the fees for the month of april are due here d e w means water in the form of droplets that appears on thin exposed objects due to condensation whereas d u e means an obligatory payment thus the fees for the month of april are d u e third who can knead the dough well k n e a d means to moisten the flour into dough or paste with the hands whereas n w -E d means want or necessity number 4 the monkeys slid down the pole and ran away here p o w -L, l poll means the process of voting in an election whereas p o l e means a long thin piece of wood or metal used specially for supporting things thus here the answer will be p o l e number 5 the yellow portion of the egg is called the dash is it y o k e or y o l k yolk here y o k e means a wooden cross piece that is fastened over the necks of two animals and attached to the plow or cart that they are to pull whereas Y O L K is the nutrient bearing portion of an egg thus here the answer will be Y O L K number 6 fields of rye and barley lay on either side of the path here R Y E rye means a grass grown extensively as a grain and a member of the wheat family whereas w r y ry means twisted into an expression of disgust or disappointment 7th we bought a tract of land in the village here tract means an area of large land 8th the sight of food made our mouths water here s i g h t sight means the power of seeing whereas s i t e sight means an area of ground on which a building or monument is constructed thus here the answer will be s i g h t the seeing of the food 9th the peak seemed impossible to climb here p double e k means to look in a cautious way whereas p e a k peak means pointed top of a mountain thus here the answer will be p e a k peak 10th the reign of the last king brought prosperity to the kingdom here r e i g n means the period during which a monarch is sovereign whereas r a i n means a liquid water in the form of droplets condensed from atmospheric water vapor now here we have another exercise form sentences with each set of homophones to show the difference in their meanings number 1 B E B one must be strong at all times while facing odds B E E B the black bee was buzzing over the sunflowers here B E E B is a social insect 
Second, DEW dew, early morning dew on the leaves is a beautiful sight. DUE dew, his fees for the violin lessons are dew. As I have already said you that DUE dew is an obligatory payment whereas DEW is water in the form of droplets that appears on thin exposed objects due to condensation. Number 3. EWE -E, U. The U gave birth in the stubble last night. Here U means female ship. Y O U U. Why don't you make dinner tonight? Fourth. K N I G H T night. The night started on a voyage to capture the dragon. Here, night means a man who served his lord as a mounted soldier in armor. N I G H T night. One should try to sleep for eight hours at night. Night means the period from sunset. To sunrise in each 24 hours. Fifth, S C E N E, scene. The sun rising over the snowy mountain created a beautiful scene. Here, scene means the place of an occurrence or action. S W -E E N, have you seen his latest film? Here, scene is the past participle of C. Number 6. L-O-S-E, lose, means to be deprived of something. Sentence, play as if you have nothing to lose. L-O-O-S-E, lose, means not firmly or tightly fixed in place. Sentence, he has lost so much weight that his jeans are now too loose for him. Seven. Dear, she is a dear friend of mine. D-E-A-R means someone who is regarded with deep affection. Dear, D-E-E-R. That species of dear is almost extinct. Here, D-E-E-R means a herbivorous animal. 8. I-D-L-E means Habitually doing nothing or avoiding work. Sentence. Never keep your mind idle. I-D-O-L. Idle. Idle worship began during the ancient time. Here, idle means an image or representation of a god used as an object of worship. That's all for the day. I hope you well understood homophones and it will also enable you to increase your vocabulary. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.